We're here downtown Akron at the University of Akron for the Welcome Home LeBron celebration. It's a beautiful crowd, as you can see. Lots of people coming out to celebrate his Welcome Home party. I'm excited to see what's going on tonight. As you can see, it took me a long time to get in here, but hopefully it's worth the wait. Sorry. Uh... Obviously, this is my, my greatest day of the year. Um, you guys seen me tweet earlier. Uh, this is my favorite day of the year because of these kids. And obviously, it's just a, a handful of what we're going to uh, see today. But, but first, before I get started and answering questions and everything, I want this Desiree to come up here and just, you know, it, it's pretty amazing. It, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm not going to sit, sit up here and say it's not. Um, to be able to know that you inspire so many people from, from the youth all the way up to, to uh, part of I got a grandma's club now of 200 plus grandmas. <laughs> uh, so I'm hitting all ranges uh, as far as inspiration. But uh, to know that you can uh, you know do things for people and give them hope and give them inspiration throughout a day to day basis it means a lot to me. Um, I understand that I'm a role model. Uh, I, I love the chip on on Dion's shoulder where everyone else looks at it as a negative. Um, I look at it as a positive and. Uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to getting with him. Uh, I love how active Tristan is. Uh, you know, both running the floor, both rebounding, setting screens, and uh, finishing up the rim. Obviously, I don't have to comment on Andy. Uh, uh, you give me nine Andys, and I'll be the tenth guy. I'll be all right. I'm gonna win. Uh, you know, and then you know the, the rest of the guys on the team. Uh, you know, the acquisition of being able to bring Mike Miller on. You know. Uh, you know, one of my favorite teammates, and James Jones from you know my days in Miami, to be able to, be able to bring on champions. Um, that, that helps a lot in the locker room. It helps out on the floor because we've been there. And, um, you know, the early reports is that we're, we're going to acquire, you know, Kevin Love. And obviously, it's not – we can't really get too far into it because of the league rules and things of that nature. We don't know for sure. And, you know, uh, I'm not getting my hopes too high on it right now because – I don't know what could happen from now to the 20, but it's, you know it better. Than that. Stack, um, in your Sports Illustrated article, you said in Northeast Ohio, nothing's given, everything's earned. So what does that mean to you, spe specifically with your foundation? Well, for, for me, um, growing up in a single um, parent household, um, everything was earned and nothing was given to my mother. And, uh, you know, the way she approached life is uh, she doesn't care about anything as long as her son benefits for everything and, and get whatever she she grinds for, you know, and that's what, that's basically where it came from. You know, I seen my mother struggle a lot, and, uh, and as I saw her struggle, I never wanted for anything. I have no idea how she did it. And uh, me being, you know, me having a wife and, and grandparents around and, other helpers around every single day, uh, it's still difficult to be a parent myself. And I got so much assistance and financially assistance as well that my mother nowhere near had. And, uh, and she was able to do it by herself. And so you know, that's where it basically comes from, you know, that everything in our life, you know, it was, uh, was earned and not given. <laughs> started our journey some 19 years ago in the pursuit of a national championship. It began in a small gym with a linoleum floor at the Salvation Army on Naval Street. Back. I remember when I used to do this high school playoff game, Coach Drew and out on the board. I remember when he became the number one pick in the league. I mean, a lot of good times we had. I mean, I'm very so honored to get to represent Dan Gilbert and his ownership group. I'm honored to be here in front of all of these kids that are keeping their promise. And obviously, we're very honored to be in a situation now where we get to try to deliver on the promise that LeBron has made to all of you. This organization and his message of family 
his message of how much home means to him resonates very deeply with all of us. It resonates very deeply. Right here. 